So the four suspects that they have narrowed down, Moth Kid, who is a moth person, there is Jackson, who is a Lake Worth monster, there is Ashley, who is a female grassman, which is like a Bigfoot from Ohio, and then there's Toon, who's a Rougarou werewolf from Louisiana. Stay go, stay go, stay go, stay go, stay go. Daddy! Can I please just do my chores tomorrow? All right, sweetie. But you do have to help me. We were going to fix the sink, so if you're going to be going out, you know, stores probably won't be closed this late at night, but at some point, you do have to go out and get me a new pipe for the sink, and we'll work on it together tomorrow, right? Okay. We are really bad at being Scooby-Doo, like, mystery solvers. Like, the box car children, I feel like, wouldn't leave a scene of a crime, only to be like, oh shoot, we gotta go right back to the scene of the crime. I feel that that was maybe a blunder. Yeah, but Scooby-Doo's not realistic. To be fair, like, um, it, so there was, like, a study done that actually shows that most serial killers, uh, go back to see the crime crime. Not to compare petty theft to serial killing. Criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime, of course. Yeah, haven't you ever watched a crime show? Does Scooby-Doo count as a crime show? Yes. Okay, then I have. <laughs> I mean, no! It doesn't count! <laughs> then I have it! Then I have it! You you notice there's some footprints along along the ground. And there are shoe prints, so this person wears shoes, which is something that you'd want to know in a town of monsters. That crosses off Ashley and Toon as well. I I want to start with um, Tessie and Dare. <laughs> oh, okay. See what shenanigans you guys get up to. Alrighty, so we're going to Jackson. You got any plans on how we talk to Jackson? Any at all? Why would I have? Pl- I'm the shy one. You're the one that talks to people and like yells and stuff. Okay, but you're also the one that investigates, and I don't. I'm enthusiastic. There's a difference. Mm. She looks at you blinking. Just... There mm. is... There's a difference. Being enthusiastic is... Whatever. It's just... It's just, let's go see what Jackson has to do. Let's... Um, mm. Do we know where Jackson is? <laughs> I don't think you figured out where Jackson was. <laughs> Just kidding. So. Wait, it was somewhere near the lake, I think. I, we don't know. <laughs> We're not Jackson completely... was said to live um, near the lake, which is where okay. we said we would head over. He is a yeah, Lake Worth monster. Yeah. I don't know if we confirmed he lives near yeah, the yeah. lake. Yeah, but... I was like, I don't think we confirmed, but he is a uh, Lake Worth monster. So. After we figured this out, as we're, as we're trekking along, by the way, t- um, towards the lake area, because we don't know for sure, and Dare doesn't like awkward silences. <laughs> um, do you got, like, I mean, like, I kind of can't do much past what I do. Do you ha- know any, <sighs> anything, like, any plans or anything? They're trying to be conversational. <laughs> um, if a if a like if a water lizard could sweat, like she looks <laughs> so <laughs> deeply uncomfortable and just truly, truly uh, upset that you have asked this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I could not be happier. She goes, um, uh, um. I I mean you don't have to know obviously it was just I kind of was 
I don't have hands, so it's hard to get a job um, at a lot of places on land because cause I don't have hands. Um, I mean... You're pretty. You're actually pretty good at this investigating stuff. We could. You could probably do something with that. I mean, not. I don't know what exactly because. But I was just. No, it's. I know. I constantly act like, yeah, woohoo! I get to be my age forever. But it gets. <sighs> it's kind of repetitive, and I mean, like, no one wants to be eighteen forever, kind of deal. You know, we spend a lot of time in school, and you get really used to it, and you kind of figure out who you are, <laughs> and then um, you're not in you're not in school anymore. Yeah, um, and. You don't know what to do after that because that's what you've been expected to. You're this person or whatever. You're you this or that. It's... <sighs> it's just... I kind of thought I would figure out what I wanted to do um, in school, but I didn't really. Um, I kind of thought... I would get braver and better with people, but I didn't really. Hey, don't don't say that. I mean, look at what we're doing now. This is pretty brave. I know the Tessie from high school would never have done this. It's easier with you guys. I mean, I mean, isn't that kind of how life is? It always seems a little easier. When you're surrounded by people you're comfortable with, but... Okay, but, like, Rosie has college, and Terry does college and has a job, and I guess you have your future set because you're just going to haunt the school forever? Um, it seems like everyone has a thing, and everyone kind of is busy, and I'm just... I don't know. I, I know I don't act like this, but I really wish I was kind of in your place, believe it or not. No one wants to be the same age for, like, 16, 18 forever. No one, no one wants that when you can't move forward. I can barely enjoy the things I like. I get screamed at all the time from my sisters because they're not used to the fact that their brother's dead. Um, it's just... Dare, this is going to sound kind of weird, but it it seems like we're really similar. <laughs> no, actually, I think you you might be right there. Um... <laughs> I also kind of feel like I'm gonna be 18 forever all i can say is you're pretty good at this investigating stuff you you got some sick moves you were able to jump a whole ass fence <laughs> you're not someone easy to move so that was some pretty sick ass shit thanks <laughs> i get it i think part of why i wanted that kind of prank that led me to this was that i didn't want to Everything I've known is here, and I think I was scared. I didn't expect to blow up, but, um... Dare, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but... I'm sorry I didn't stop you. If I had known, I wouldn't have let you do it. Sometimes I... Sometimes I kind of feel like it's my fault you blew up. No, I'm, I'm a dumbass. We all know this. There's no wraparound about it. I've eaten a lot of very questionable things that have made me throw up before. Um, like, no, I'm, don't blame yourself for that. I should have told people because then someone might have knocked some sense, but we're here now and 
Yeah. I know I'm gonna. Miss, yeah, I know I'm gonna miss you guys when you start. Cause when you start stuff, like you're gonna figure stuff out. I know you because you're you're Tessie. You figure stuff out one way or another. We already know Rosie, Rosie and Terry both have college and all that. They're getting their lives kind of head started, and I'm just gonna be here. <laughs> this is the most fun I've actually had in a really long time. Yeah, me too. Um, so sweet. <laughs> um, don't want to interrupt too much, but I want to give you both a spirit point <laughs> for good role playing and Hell for yeah. actually doing something on the gaining spirit list, which is <laughs> describe how your character is maturing as a teen and discovering who they are in the world. <laughs> you mean by dare not <laughs> maturing as an actual person? I feel so called out. <laughs> I think most of us are feeling this. I mean, yeah. I think that's the point. I think at this point, Tessie and Dare reveal that they have had a cool secret handshake this whole time. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Tess, uh, Tessie does it with her tail, and they can't touch because no, Dare is a ghost. I mean, but they wait, have a wait, whole little wait, system. Wait, no, we can see. Oh, this is we the handshake that my, that my character did with Sparks Fly. Exactly. Yes, but hold on. We can see if Dare can. Don't say th that. There's. It's true. <laughs> also, you have you have two separate handshakes. One for if you can't touch, and one for if you can. So hold on. I need to roll plus jump, which is a negative one. They're the same handshake, but if it if Dare manages to actually make physical contact, he gets slapped ten feet away from the tail. <laughs> oh, yes. no. I would just like to thank Jamie for calling me out on the fact that, uh, as a DM, the only way I know to uh, show that two ratty teens are close and understand <laughs> each other on an emotional level is to have them have a secret handshake. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so I got an eight on that. So it takes more effort or longer than you expected, but you get the job done. So I imagine they do, it starts off where they're not, they're not touching, but right at the end, at the end of it, there's able to. Hell yeah. You get that sick high five in at the last moment. Yes. At the last moment. Yes. The satisfying smack. All right. All right. Now let's go talk to this All goat. All right. <laughs> and you guys mark down two, two spirit points on your. Oh, yay. Two. That up six. I feel loved. I feel loved. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys are kind of like, you've been going more towards the direction of the lake. There's still some like houses. They're a little bit more spread out because um, you aren't so close into the center of town. Um, but you're kind of getting more to like the lakeside houses and stuff. Um, nice, nice, large lawns and things in this area. Tessie yeah. and I are feeling a very similar emotion, which is someone that has seen a lot of lake houses, but has no idea what it would be like to live in a lake house. <laughs> They've always been lake house community adjacent, but never actually, actually been in a place yeah. where they could ever have a lake house. <laughs> Just kind of like a weird half longing stare, weird half squint um, at the lake houses. Jay Gatsby looking at the... Green light. Yeah, the green light. <laughs> okay, but, but not quite, because, like, the green light is good for Jake, uh, uh, like, for Gatsby. Yeah. Like, this is if Gatsby, like, liked the light partially, but also was kind of side-eyeing it. Like, I feel that that could make me happy, but I also know that it sucks fundamentally. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the whole point of Jay Gatsby was that he was constantly trying and that hit the light was a representation of Daisy and how he could never get her? Okay, the light I mean, first was a representation of, all, let's of um, the American dream. Yeah, let, first of all, we're stopping nostalgia and this is uh, <laughs> the Great Gatsby podcast now. Uh, <laughs> I'm also confused because I have never read or watched the movie. The thing about the light what? is that, like... <laughs> Gatsby believes in it fundamentally. Like, Gatsby doesn't doubt it. Gatsby doesn't side-eye it. Gatsby <laughs> is fully bought it anyway. I like to <laughs> think that these are these are happening inside of um, Tessie's mind right now. As she's looking at these houses, she's making this comparison. <laughs> Let's go grill this lake Go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tessie's looking at a house and she's like, oh yes, great Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs>
you actually don't have to search too hard for him, because um, you you find him. He's mowing the lawn in front of one of these houses. Please tell me he's I eating it, you. please. When you say mowing, please. I feel like that's <laughs> racist. <laughs> Goats eat Assuming everything. a goat man's gonna be eating grass in a society where everyone has like modern technology. Goats eat everything. I mean, maybe he eats like some of the fresher stuff, but like nibbles on it, not actually eats it. I was also at the very say- least he would put it on some bread and make a grass sandwich. Let's not get <sighs> out of control. No, you know All what right. he's got? He's pulled. He's-, he's pulled out a long strand of thick weed and he's che- just like chewing on that, like a cow yeah. boy. All yeah. right, yeah. fine. Yeah. Jackson, he's pushing an old, like, lawnmower, but, and he's got kind of, like, the, you know, the grass in between his teeth, but instead of, like, one strand of grass, it's, like, a, one of those thick clumps. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just kind of sticking out. <laughs> I know he's a teen, but for some, like, this whole character description makes him read to me like he's 45. <laughs> so here's the thing. You look at this kid, and he is redneck. Yeah, it's like he's a redneck, okay. so. Hell yeah. That's. From someone who works in a Yeehaw store, as I put it, that's essentially what all the teenagers look like. Like, teenagers will come in, and then they're, and I'm like, oh, this must be someone in their 20s. They're like, oh, yeah, like, oh, three for their birthdays. And I'm like, hmm? He's got what? the jeans. He's got the boots. He's got, like, the, the t-shirt and cap. Tessie immediately shrinks back um, and lets Dare take the lead. Dare's just like, uh, Jackson, and I have a, I, I just have this strong feeling that while Dare is pretty friendly with, like, everyone, there are some people he kind of isn't, not be- because, like, he's just like, I don't know what I could talk to this person about at all, <laughs> because Dare is very much more gothic. She leans over and whispers in your ear, Ask him if he stole the art supplies. We gotta be more subtle than that. Um, <laughs> Jackson, yo- like, kind of stops the, the lawnmower. Um, it's still kind of chugging away, but he definitely probably didn't hear what you said, Tessie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank the Lord. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, that was not subtle. <laughs> Thank sea monster Jesus. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> but he looks over to you guys and he's like, uh, hi? Um, so, you're going like, uh, sh- shit. <laughs> That's Dare you're says bombing. That. Dare, you're bombing. No shit. Dare, pull it together. Why am I supposed to, like, you just see this, he's trying and he goes, so, Jackson, how you been? He's trying very hard to just be like, mm. <laughs> Jackson kind of like glances down at the lawnmower and back to you. And he's like, I've been fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, he has no idea why you two are here talking to him. He's like, <laughs> what um, the Because you guys probably like rarely interact. Like, Dare gets around, but, like, actual interaction, probably yeah, not a whole lot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Why well, Dare's just like, uh. Um, Jackson's like, why is the ghost in the fish food here? Ah! She eats fish. She is not fish food. Yeah, real r- full squint from your girl, Testy. <laughs> <laughs> Did not appreciate that. Um... Dare's just like, so, like, we're going around, like, uh, mm. asking, a, like, a survey about, uh, what their float, like, kind of what the float ideas are. We're, like, because we're, obviously, we're chaperones and kind of watching over. We're not going to be able to tell the secrets or whatever. Obviously, we're chaperones. They're, yeah, they're the older ones, yeah. <laughs> we're chaperones, so we're, Clearly like, Clearly, you can tell by the name tag on my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> they are the ones supervising the younger ones. <laughs> We're not, though. That was a lie. Well, Dare's <laughs> rolling with it. You think this Dare's This, too, <laughs> is a lie, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what are you going at? This is all lies. <laughs> um, And so... And he goes, and we're just trying to figure out, like, what y'all are making so that in the future we can give advice for the future, like, classes on, uh, like, the freshmen for what, uh, in the future, what they're doing and stuff, you know? Like, 
oh, this is what other classes before you have used to make your floats, all that. We're just kind of figuring out, like, what, uh, what y'all using. Uh, alright, uh, we got Battleship. Oh, shit, that's cool. What, are you guys, like, using paper mache? What exactly y'all doing for it? Uh, well, we got, uh, we got my dad's truck to pull, pull the float, um, and I'll be honest, I, uh, haven't been showing up to the building days. Ah, alrighty. Um. Can I, like, insight check that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. I mean, maybe I do, I don't know. I have now, to dice. there's not really... Do you have an insight check move? Um... I mean, I per, my, my playbook does, but I would have to, like, lead up to this? Uh, well, explain it, and we'll go on from there? If you um, have something I... you want to say to be able to roll listening air, you can try. Yeah. Could I use, uh, my eyes? Yes. Use your eyes. Yeah. You can try. I'm gonna do that first before I, uh, try and get this person to emotionally unload. Ooh, boy. Um, ooh. What'd you get? Um, I got a whole six. Ooh. Oh, no. Tasty. tasty you know what's tasty. funny? You also failed on this one before, and I didn't ask a question then, either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right! No! <laughs> well, now you can ask two questions. Um, well, why is Tessie so shy? Oh. Oof. Ouch! Hitting it hard! You know, that's a great question. Which means Riley did not think about that. Digging right into the heart. <laughs> Um, Time to hear some emotional trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Tess um, Tessie comes from the lake. Um, <laughs> no, I thought... Yes? I, I have more. I'm sorry. I just thought about how <laughs> funny it would be if I stopped there. Um, <laughs> Tessie comes from the lake, which, while it is a part of nostalgia, it is a smaller community. Like... Out of all the cryptids and the people that live here, there's not nearly as many that can uh, breathe underwater, and even fewer that choose to live underwater, even if they necessarily could breathe underwater. Um, yeah. And so, she, like, as a child, before she had to go to school, she didn't really know a lot of the people in the town, um, especially uh, considering that um, it's just her and her mom. Um, she oh, doesn't okay. have a dad, she doesn't have any siblings, it's just her oh, and her no. mom. <laughs> and, um, I think she was homeschooled a little bit very early on, not for too long. But, um, she didn't really enter nostalgia as a whole proper, or and, like, the school system, uh, until a little bit later than everyone else. And she pretty much knew no one, and I don't think that it was an easy adjustment for her. Um... I'm sure, like, you, the I could make a joke about that, like, the Loch Ness Monster is also shy, and so, like, that's probably where I got the idea. But um, that's those are kind of the things that I, I was drawing on, some of the yeah. reasons why Tessie also is, like, a, a very shy kid. All right. Um, um, that, that's literally a fish out of water, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Oh, no. Um, my other question, then, is did Tessie ever have any sort of like, dreams that she wanted to do or accomplish. Oof. Oh. Yeah, I, I, of course she did, right? Like, um, you know, she had thoughts of maybe she would become uh, a teacher. Maybe she would, um, maybe she'd become an investigator. Um, maybe she would become a writer. Um... She had a, a lot of thoughts and ideas about what path she could do go down, but either due to a lack of passion or skill um, or whatever circumstances, just she was never able to follow down any of those paths more than just cursory 
um, like hobbyist knowledge. Um, mm-hmm. You know, like um, just calling me out, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that um, sounds good. All right, back into Jackson. I like that Tessie has been one of the quietest, like least explored uh, characters this whole time, arc wise. And then this episode, I'm just like, all right, time to unload. <laughs> Here's all the Tessie. For real. <laughs> Here's all the Tessie lore. It's the awkward like I'm, I want to open up, so I just have to like lay it all out right now. Yeah. Here's the yeah. Tessie spinoff that DreamWorks wouldn't give you. <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh, Tessie with the DreamWorks protagonist like smirk and the eyebrow no! raise. No! Cursed. I was gonna say that's cursed. No. All right. Um, oh. So yeah, you weren't able to tell if Jackson was lying or not about not showing up to building days. Um. And there's just like, I mean, like, do you kn- so? I know you got the truck, and I mean, like, if it's yours and your dad's, do you got anything, like, and any, have you seen any, anything? Like, I get you might not have been there for building days, but if it's your truck, and all that. Uh, now nah, we're just gonna go pick it up on the, on the homecoming night and drive it to the school. Um, <laughs> there's, this is one of the few times there is very much out of his like zone like dare is normally the guy who is able to talk to people but he doesn't know what the hell to do yeah how do you leave this conversation (laughs) how do you even ask the conversation if dare is continuing to bomb um tessie will maybe i feel like dare is intimidated by jackson (laughs) okay that's honestly sounds right because like dare was the was the class clown but that doesn't mean he didn't like get picked on or stuff like he was a weirdo he just was able to get people to like him through sheer like hey look at my crazy antics i'm i'm funny yeah and this is probably like the cool kid well no it's the it's the redneck rednecks are terrifying (laughs) Well, yeah, but, you know, Jackson might also be kind of on the, mm-hmm. the like, yeah. cool side. Like, maybe not the popular kid, but the cool kid, kind of. No. And that, keep in mind, his closest friends that actually talk to him are all the really quiet ones. That says a yeah. lot about Dare's character. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try and use listening ear, because Dare has been no help, and Tessie's, uh... <laughs> All right. Flipper has been forced. Um, she goes like, "So you're uh, stuck mowing the lawn, huh? And you have to spend, you know, all the time getting the truck covered up with battle uh, ship stuff. That must be hard. Just a really fumbling attempt at any amount of just like <laughs> reaching out to this person. We're so and- bad at this." <laughs> Oh, uh, why did they think it was a good idea to pair us again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Jackson's kind of. Oh, I um, I rolled I rolled dice. Yeah. Why'd you roll? Do you want to know the number I got? What did you, roll? you get? Well, you can't know now. Okay. <laughs> what? No, um, I got an eight. <laughs> you got an eight. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, yeah, well. I didn't know that was like your immediate. I thought you were gonna, you said you were gonna lead up, but no, that 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 was uh, I'm telling that was as good as she had. <laughs> um, we're both really bad at this. <laughs> a listening ear. When you encourage someone to spill their heart out to you, roll plus <laughs> God. Yep. On an eight, they're willing to talk, but you're going to need to prove that you can be trusted. And honestly, sounds about right. I was gonna say we're randomly asking about this. Um, Why are you so bad? Hey, yeah. cool lawnmower. Uh, you have a truck? Interesting. Are you sad? <laughs> <laughs> you ever want to talk about your feelings, Tia? No. no. I, said, I do, I know, I do. David. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jack, Jackson's like, it's not hard. I'm just, uh, you know, just trying to make a little bit of extra money on the side. Is that why you haven't been helping out with the construction? Oh. Well, damn. I mean, damn. 
Hey, yeah, if, if they're like, busy with no their point. job, no shame. No, I know, but just damn, just like, is that why? The way you said that was savage. <laughs> no, it was just one of those things of hitting that realism of sometimes you can't do fun stuff because you gotta work. Yeah. yeah. Jackson's like, yeah, they, I mean, they don't need me there. That's like, you know, I picked the easiest job just driving it to the school. Got me covered there for the for the whole quarter. But yeah, I guess. You know, you he, do one big job at the end. It kind of ties it all together. I mean, are you yeah. having fun working instead? Well, I mean, it lets me stay outside, you know, gets me out of the house. Oh, so you would have, uh, you would have rather, uh, helped out on the float? Uh, I mean, I don't really care about the float, but, mm. yeah, my friends are there, they're all hanging out. I, and Dare's finally being able to, Dare is good at feeding off of other people, so he goes, I get how you feel, so, like, I never really care about the float, but sometimes it's just fun to join in, not... Because you want to be school spirit, yay! But sometimes you just want to hang with your friends. Yeah. And like, come on, Battleship? Like, such a dumb game. We're in the middle of the... We're in a landlocked state. Like, come on. There's I... not a lot you could do with that, admittedly. Wait, crap. You know what? Retcon that. Unless Jackson is really, really dumb. I said this town is an organ. You know what? Nope, let, let's keep that. That sounds like Jackson. <laughs> We're landlocked, damn it! Well, maybe... <laughs> to be fair, Jackson did come from Texas, so... Ah, that... that... Also, well, Texas is also not landlocked, but... Um, Texas is also not but... landlocked! <laughs> We're landlocked, damn it! There's no sea for miles! <laughs> like, what? what is making us not say that, like, maybe Nostalgia's town is part of a small state inside Oregon... You know, for just <laughs> well, maybe maybe it's like I a mean, tiny state, like just a little hole in there, and that's I mean, just where we are, are cryptid. Yeah, sub state. We are we are cryptid, so like we do have our own kind of community deal. Yeah, so exactly. It be like yeah. we exist in a rift in time and space. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think we would really be following following the like you know the U.S. laws as much. All right. <laughs> Well, yeah. you guys can determine whether or not Jackson is an idiot for calling it a landlocked <laughs> state, but all right, he said it's a landlocked state. I say Jackson's state. a genius. <laughs> With <laughs> Jackson's J. on to something here. <laughs> He's on to something. He's got the true conspiracies. <laughs> the true conspiracies were the ones we made along the way. <laughs> yup. <Yes. laughs> um, but there goes, I mean, like, it could, I will say it could definitely be worse. There's one class has freaking um, uh, uh, operation. Battleship oh, yeah, at least the has freshmen. a ha. Those poor children. Yeah, like there's sucks. Like that's a shit game to get to pick. Like at least Battleships is like a fun kind of game and it has like a cool setup. What the hell do you do for operation? You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know. But it's because the, the seniors and the, the juniors got to choose first. They got, like, uh, Candyland and Mousetrap. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, obviously, those are obviously the best ones. No one chose Chutes and Ladders? That would be so good for <laughs> a float. Fair. I know you're not there, but Jackson would have totally had a re re comeback for that. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Just thought about that. Okay, anyway, sorry. I need to stop distracting. <laughs> No, it's, it's good, we, but there goes, I mean, like, and apparently, like, also their shit's being stolen? Like, I don't know who, who decided the poor freshmen need that on their plate, but, like, man, freshman year's already hard enough and someone's stealing shit? Ugh. The worst. Wait, like, uh, like, from their float? Like, from the, su their supplies, you know how, like, each... Uh, how, like, each grade has, like, their own little supply area? Uh, yeah, yeah, in the... Yeah, someone's stealing all their shit! It sucks, too, like, I would... If my freshman year was that, that would have been even worse. That would have been a shit freshman year. Getting all your shit stolen? Yeah, that's kind of rough. Yeah. Um, does that count as a move? Hold on. 
because Darren. I feel like that I counts like, as Darren a just, I led that up so nicely. I was like. Yeah, transitioned right into that. Darren's good at playing off other people. <laughs> I mean, if you have a, a joke to make, you could try that. Otherwise, there's not really any, like, intuition basic moves. Um, well, if you successfully do that roll, you, they, they open up to you. Yeah, okay, so, uh, Derek goes, I mean, like, I know what I would have done is that I think I would have, I think I would have done that to just fuck with a freshman. I would have definitely done that. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine? Just like, like, what if you took the supplies and used them on your own float? Then they they look at it and be like, "Is that ours?" But then they can't say anything because it's on your float. Like, exactly. So let me roll. That's a twelve. I'm good. All right. Yeah. No, Dare got that. Tessie was like the gateway to getting Dare. Yeah. In there. <laughs> so Jackson's like, but yeah, I mean like. You're you're not stealing them, right? Because you're not even a student. What? No. <laughs> He's pitching the, the robbery on you now. <laughs> what? That's on suspicious. Dare? On Dare? I mean, up to. Hmm, I mean, I also suspected Dare. Yeah. <laughs> Plot twist. It was Dare. It was oh, Dare the entire time. No. Dare's, and Dare's like, like. Is Dare just like <laughs> confused, like giving that confused face? <laughs> yeah, Dare's just like. Wait, you think I I said if if it was me like as a senior or something, I'm not making any of the floats. I'm watching over them. No. Nah. Uno reverse, no you. <laughs> J- Jackson's like, "Nope, just 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 checking, you know. Like you've got that that <laughs> reputation." Uh yeah. I I didn't hear anything about this stealing. That sucks. Uh I definitely wouldn't do that. I'm not the kind of person to steal anything even if it was to like win whatever float contest. I'm not. I'm not interested in that. Uh, all right, makes sense. Makes sense. And you can tell he's telling the truth. Yeah. It was Moth Kid all along. I can't believe Moth Kid stole shit. <laughs> I'm so mad. I was really hoping it wasn't. Moth maybe Kid. maybe uh, Dare sleepwalked. Maybe it's not either. It. Yeah. Maybe it's a faculty member. What? Oh. Why did but we, we not- narrowed it down? <laughs> um, we did our sleuthing. <laughs> you guys have just wait. You haven't even interrogated them yet, so hold on <laughs> before yeah, you start yeah, making conclusions. Yeah, and we have no way of knowing. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so Dare goes. Well, we've taken enough of your time. Thanks, though. I'm. I hope to talk to you more soon. You seem pretty cool. It gives. Gives you something to do. I can come visit around so you're not just talking to yourself or just mowing them all on all boring like. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Drop by, <laughs> maybe. Maybe my mom will make us some lemonade or something. Sounds good. Oh. Let's see if I can drink it. <laughs> Homemade lemonade's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. It <laughs> is. No, it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. And I see Texas I see. Mm-hmm. Mix them together, make an Arnold Palmer. Mm. Y'all stop, you're making my mouth water. Yeah, I don't know. Is that like, is that like hearsay in Texas to mix lemonade with iced tea? I don't know. No. I don't think so. I know it's like a common drink. I just, I know Texas people are like completely protective of their iced tea, so. I'm I'm not Texan, so I don't care. (laughs) I can do what I want. (laughs) All right. Yeah, you guys talked to Jackson, cleared him off the list. Alrighty, so Dare's just like, you were pretty good at that. Like, I was fumbling like an idiot, and you were able to get the information. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I get get it, yeah, yeah, no, for sure, I get it. But I'm saying, that was pretty good. Um, I I wish I had known that you weren't going to have the heat, Dare. I you should have told me you didn't have the heat. I don't sometimes stop. Nope. I don't. I can't know everyone as closely as as everyone you thinks I do. You are Mister. I know people. Just because I <laughs> know of people doesn't mean I know people. You are the person that knows people and talks to people in the group. Yeah. There. Doesn't mean I talk to everyone. 
You Tia left has... me out there. You left me out there to die. <laughs> no, you were able to pick it back up. You did a really oh, good job, Oh, that was test. so awkward. That was so painful. Oh, my gosh. I can never look at Jackson ever again. No, Tess, listen. Tess, Tess, listen. That was really good. You were able to get him to talk, like, get the conversation rolling, and I was able to pick up from there. You, you got him to open up enough that I could pick up from there. Do something real Ugh. easy. So what a nightmare you did so good though have you like and you're really good with talking with feelings like, I haven't really told anyone about you know me kind of hating the fact that <laughs> yeah I'm 18 forever be a therapist. <laughs> that's actually what there's there's like have you thought about psychology or anything like that like obviously I, you couldn't do I haven't yeah, I think that might be an interesting thing. Like, you could try it out, but, like, it would be a start. Yeah, that's something, I guess. I'll think about that. But for now, let's well, for, focus let's... on the thing. Oh, um, my gosh. The thief. Guys, this is very important. Right. When this is yeah. when this is over. Sorry, not not to be thinking about when this is over before it's over. But... When this is over, are we going to have an 80s montage like they do in the 80s movies? Where, the, like, better. high school movies <laughs> where, like, better. this person went on to do this thing. This person went on to do this yes. thing. Perfect. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I just thought Good. about that. Y'all gotta start planning to them. We'll record them at the end and Jamie will edit them in. <laughs> oh my Cause, gosh. Because we gotta have, when if I'm here, then we have to have lots of exposition or opposite of exposition? Resolution? Because <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got to make the editing challenging if I'm here. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, Point is, let's step back into character real quick. <laughs> it doesn't seem like Jackson did it. No, I genuinely don't think he did. So hopefully uh, Rosie and Terry get the information because it might be Moth Kid. And now we'll let the other people play this game because yeah. we've been talking Segway for 50 over. minutes. <laughs> segway <laughs> over to that <laughs> side. <laughs> you see someone on the actual segway <laughs> like... <laughs> um, <laughs> um, a segway of a segway. <laughs> Just audience, audience, keep this in mind. Think of this, a person riding a Segway and it's one of those wipe transitions where as the, and behind them, they're covering the entire screen. Behind them, the tra scene transitions into a uh, scene of me and Rosie walking down the streets. And the person riding the Segway is Bigfoot. Yes! Yep. yes! There we go. Good for him. Shocking Pepsi twist. I we all just lost our minds at that. I love this podcast. I would never be able to watch like a live version of this though, because <laughs> I am freaking terrified of bugs. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. Oh. I, I'm with you there. Bugs and me are no, no go. Yeah. No go. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Sorry. Anyway. Do you not like my rosy cosplay? The rosy cosplay you know is good, I... but it's not read read. It's not a bug bug bug. Like. Not a bug. I, well, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, and I think it's cool, but freaking, I, just bugs, just, yeah, no. just, just bugs, no, I, no, I get no. literal panic attacks from them, so. Same, I, I'm not even no. joking. So y'all are going to find Mothman. <laughs> no, Moth, Moth kid. kid. Yeah. yeah. Moth Kid. Who? We're heading over to the flower store, whatever it was called. What was the flower store called? Isn't it Audrey's? Oh. Petals to the moon. Oh. Petals to the moon. Nice. Um, yeah, you learned from Rosie's dad, one of Rosie's dads, that um, Moth Kid is working today. Yeah, he said to call in, so probably that morning Rosie called in and is like, Hey, is Moth Kid working there? And finds out, yeah, they are. Yeah, you talk to Audrey yeah. Audrey. <laughs> Answers the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Audrey Audrey. <laughs> Sorry. Audrey Audrey's <laughs> like, ah, hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. That's my best impression of the little shop of horrors voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, anyway. Uh, as, as Rosie and Terry are walking to the store, Rosie's just like, 
I hope you have a plan, because I very much do not. <laughs> Wait, I thought you had a plan. I don't have a plan. Do you have a plan? I I don't have a plan. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make a plan and like, stop us. I'm like, all right, all right, let's make a plan. All right. So we go in there. Um, and then we ask them if they did it. Um, <laughs> just, just the first thing, just right out of the did gate. Did you do it? Just walk in, fingers <laughs> and scream. Did you do it? Which no, I'm... no, maybe not that. Yeah, no. Also, <laughs> what are we even planning on doing once we figure out who it is? We're not the police. Telling we can't arrest the them. teacher. Okay. We could tell the teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess you're right. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> appealing to Terry's teacher's pet motives. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I... <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like that's been on my mind since the first episode. Not gonna lie, I've just been like, but once we figure it out, who, what, what's, what are we gonna do? I need to get questions. Like such didn't an idiot. Think, you just didn't think of. We'll tell the what the uh, teacher. Okay, Rosie's just like, okay, so we can our cover can be that we are getting another flower for me. Um, I do that a lot, and they know that. So that can be our cover. And we can okay. try to small talk. Okay. Yeah, try to t small talk to them and just casually bring up um, the floats and sort of like how the parade's going <laughs> on, going to happen and stuff. And then we can be like, yeah, we heard this rumor, and then see how they react. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that. We did not yeah. think okay, of a cool. plan, Riley. Our, <laughs> we went in blind, and I think that tells a lot about our character specifically. <laughs> I was literally just about to say cinematic parallels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so you guys, you guys may get to Petals to the Moon. You know where it is. You. Oh dang it! I wanted to have a conversation with them about a life changing tr conversation. Well, all right then. You guys are walking to Petals to the Moon. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm just curious, and you can say whatever you want. You can just completely ignore this question completely. But I just wanna know are are you in are you and tessie like a thing or do you guys <laughs> want to be a thing oh uh, oh and once again you can just take it or leave it you can just leave it there or take it wherever you want i'm just i just uh, am curious and i care about you too and i just want to yeah uh, rosie's like shoulder fluff has like kind of floofed and she's like looks like she's physically trying to hide in that floof. Oh no! And she's this is just probably like, really effective actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean yeah. Um we're not really a thing. Um Okay. I I like Tessie. And I don't know if Tessie likes me that way. Um, I know she likes me like a friend, but I I don't know if Tessie likes girls. Okay. So, may I? You didn't ask for my advice, and so I, if you don't want it. You can, you don't have, I don't have to say anything, but may I give um, my perspective yeah. on things at least? So, yeah, I, I know of uh, someone who, uh, when they, like a while ago, actually, well, it's an adult. And so it, they, a while ago, they were in school together and um, they both liked each other and were friends, but they liked each other more than that. And they just never said anything about it. And 
so then they went on on their lives and they both ended up they, they both ended up splitting apart as friends and they both were just they both got married to people and they just were honestly miserable with those people they didn't really they weren't really happy with what with uh where their lives were taking them and then they came back together and neither of them realized that the other person likes them like that and so now they are dating and you know what that's i just thought i'd bring up that story and you don't have to you don't have have to take that story at all you can just ignore it completely because i do not know your life as uh, as well as you know yours and so it sounds very yeah. similar to how my dads got together oh. so i get what you're saying um i just don't know how to bring it up or when this is why well, I, I, Tessie wanted to go with Terry. This is why. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah, okay. Dare did an excellent job. I'm I was go about to say, I'm so sorry. Dare said, did a fantastic <laughs> job. Give him some credit. Well, you know what? This this wasn't forced, though. So, therefore, it, we get we get to take it where it ends up going. So, But, but, but what if I... What if I tell Tessie and she doesn't like me that way and it just ruins our relationship and she doesn't like me anymore even as a friend hey hey, hey. it's okay like people they, they're not gonna they're not gonna just stop talking to you they're not gonna treat you like not a friend because they are a good friend of yours and they care about you even if it is isn't necessarily in that uh, way they care about you and they're a really good friend. And so you guys will still be great friends and it's going to be great. You guys are going to be great. I've been called out because that's how I've thought every single time <laughs> I've liked someone. <laughs> it's right oh yeah, same. Shit. <laughs> I have been called out. Oh yeah, out. same. Big time. <laughs> Big Can time. I I've... do a small role? I don't know what it is. But it might be, I know this one, but not technically one of the questions down there. <laughs> Do you want me to say the question and then roll for it? I mean, what's... I, I'm not sure what your intent is here. Yeah, my question is, what is Tessie's favorite flower? <gasps> I don't think you need <gasps> to roll. Would, would you, wouldn't you just know that as friends? I mean, maybe that's why she's been getting a different flower every day. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love that so much! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was just holding my breath the entire time being like, ah! <laughs> I don't think that's something I can answer. I think you should ask Riley. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Riley, do you think Rosie knows Tessie's favorite flower by now? I am furiously Googling flowers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so or maybe today will be the day rose, that Rosie finds out which it, which it is. Oh, it just happens to get the right one. You know. Okay. So. Okay, okay, wait. I just want to say that uh falling in love with someone is taking a risk every time and so it, it's just up to you whether you decide it's a risk worth taking okay big mood <laughs> um i have two instincts here um one instinct is i have googled flowers that grow by uh loch ness <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Second instinct is to say lavender. Oh, because that is a flower that Jamie and I have in our house a lot in terms of like lavender scented candles <laughs> and like the, so. Like I'm tempted Aww. to do that. I think lavender is also... the one. <laughs> Lavender's the winner. Also, it's highly likely maybe Rosie hasn't gotten lavender because that's not normally one that you buy like individually yeah. from a flower shop. You normally just, get the I'm nice big ones. I, 
I don't want it to be lavender because Tessie is purple and it's like, you're purple. Have a purple flower. Do you love me? Uh, you know, maybe like, that's why Rosie hasn't gotten it yet. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Another thought. Another thought. Okay. <laughs> so what if, what if we just pick, you pick a flower and uh, Riley, you pick a flower and they don't have to be the same thing. And that's the beautiful part about it. Okay, or ignore me. That's fine. I was, I, that's, I, I a good, that, that's a good one. I just I didn't get to uh, offer my second option. <laughs> what was your second option? Um, there is a delicate white flower that grows near locks and Ooh. bogs called the grass of Parnassus. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they're these tiny little star-shaped white flowers. Oh, I know those. Yeah. No, those are so cute. Also known as bog stars, <laughs> which is a significantly oh. less pretty name. But bog stars. Also an option. One of those. One of those could be good for the scene. Okay, I'm going back on you. Think about it. I think the oh, the oh, Parnassus. Okay, Tessie likes reading, right? Yes. The Grass of Parnassus is also a poetry book. <gasps> Perfect. Excellent. It's that one. <laughs> Yeah. It's an anthology of po- poetry. <laughs> I would right. not know this. I despise poetry. I just looked it up. I just looked <laughs> it up. So <laughs> that's the only reason I know. Um, yeah. I think they're like probably outside the store by now, and Rosie's just like, thank you, Terry. Um, people don't really talk to me much about that because they think I know, they think I understand myself enough. And Thank you. It it's really nice. Of course, I'm I'm always here to talk. Um, yeah, I care I care a lot about everyone here. Um, everyone here is really important to me, and I don't ever want to make the to make them feel like they can't talk to me. So please, yeah, you can always talk to me about that sort of stuff or anything at all. I, I'm here for you guys. Rosie gives you a big beaming smile. And I'm here for Riley and Jamie falling in love in literally every season. <laughs> <laughs> You're just rolling your eyes over there like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm cackling. Yeah, you know what? You two take a couple points as well. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, we've done Yay. good! Yay! I think there's a little ring of, like, the doorbell as we walk in. The little bells are ticking. Yeah. So much of me wants to jump and point and be like, did you? (laughs) No! Listeners, it's end credits time. I know you love hearing this part, but I like to remind you guys that you can find us on Tumblr, Instagram, and even TikTok. And if you like to buy the music, you can buy it all at markexperience.bandcamp.com. We also have a constantly growing collection of merch at redbubble.com slash people slash mark dash experience, where you can buy posters and shirts and stickers and all that. If you want to support your favorite editor and musician, you can head over to my coffee account at coffee.com slash Jamie Remy. That's spelled J-A-M-I-E-R-E-M-Y. Mark Experience can be located basically anywhere podcasts exist now, so you can listen wherever's easiest. See you next episode. So yeah, I've got a Twitch account, and I just play games on it, uh, mostly magic at the current moment, and it would be super cool if you went out there and 
joined it is twitch.tv slash boy56, all in lower caps, and boy with an I. I'm just tr- just trying things out. So yeah, um, come join me. I've also got a Discord on there. I'm always on it. So yeah, 